Oh yeah, it's carb up day. Um, today we are three days out. Yeah, three days out. Um, my breakfast is the regular. Uh, I have egg whites, half a liter of egg whites, uh, 90 grams of rice flakes and a lot of berries. And then I'm making some jelly rice cakes. I'm gonna slice a banana on top of these and then I'm gonna have a couple of these with peanut butter. So this is gonna be the first carb up meal. Um, I'm aiming to around six, 700 grams of carbs today, tomorrow pretty much the same. And then on Friday I'm just gonna go according to how I look. So if I start to look spilled over, which I highly doubt, then I'm gonna cut down a little bit of the eating of the carbs. But if I still feel like I'm able to fill up, then I'm gonna continue eating the same way on Friday. But we'll see, we'll see how this goes. So, um, yeah, a lot of rice cakes. Yesterday, or the last two days, I've been having low carbs, high sodium, and high water intake. Today, unfortunately, I won't be able to have a lot of sodium. So sodium is kind of cut out, uh, I only have like few grams of sodium today and water intake is still pretty high I'm gonna cut water tomorrow so or not completely but you know tomorrow I'm gonna have like a one and a half liter on Friday I only have like half a liter water and on contest day barely any so I don't I'm not gonna do any major changes just a little bit playing around with the sodium water intake and the carbs and just move forward according to how I look so the mirror is the best best coach at the moment obviously Melissa my girlfriend will be helping me judging about whether I need to eat more carbs or if I start to look spilled over so yeah I'm pretty happy because now the work is done I don't have to work out yesterday I rested today is another rest day yeah we did a little bit of filming but it wasn't really an exercise but uh, and tomorrow I'm gonna have a, a small pump workout so you're gonna see what I'm gonna do on tomorrow it's not really a, a workout it's just something to keep the metabolism on the muscle just for the muscle to have the possibility to suck in more glycogen so we don't want to work out now because that will just burn off the glycogen that we're filling up with the carbs but we're just pumping a little bit, squeezing the muscle and a lot of posing. There will be a lot of posing. So posing will help your muscles to suck in the glycogen and push out the extra water too. So if you're getting ready for the show on the last week, pose, pose, pose. That will also increase your stamina on posing because a lot of times people go to bodybuilding contest and they just get exhausted in the middle of the contest and then they are not able to pose and hold the midsection tight and then they will just look fat as fuck. So remember the pose guys, that's very important. But yeah, I'm smiling now guys. <laughs> look at that jelly, oh it's gonna be good. And when we have the banana on top of them, oh yeah, it's gonna be delicious. Yeah, your energy is totally different today oh, than yeah. before. And you know, like uh, I've been doing cardio every single day and I've been training abs every single day and my morning starts basically with two hour workout before I get to eat my meal so needless to say I've been a little bit cranky and tired during the last weeks of the prep because you know I've been working out so hard but now I just get to lay, lay back watch some movies on Netflix and just enjoy my time and uh, and tomorrow we're actually hitting on the road. So the contest is in Balneary Cabrillo, which is another hometown where we used to live. So yeah, it's like a two hour drive away, hour and a half depending on the traffic. And we have a car and Airbnb and everything set up. So yeah, I'm happy guys. I'm really happy. It's a great day. And today Mateus is coming back. And Bruno. And Bruno, her, his girlfriend is coming here. Mateus is a massage therapist and he's been helping me and helping me recover and opening my fascia tissue for past year. So he's coming here for a final session to just liberate my muscles and 
uh, help to get some definition in my body and abdominals especially. What did we film for the Finnish clients today? What was it? Yeah, we filmed a ad workout because um, a lot of people on my social media has noticed that my abs have drastically changed like during this year and everybody's been asking hey Timo what have you done to your abs why are they popping out so much so we filmed a ab workout which will be available on testoriginal.com so it's my ab routine that changed my midsection so if you guys want great abs be sure to check that one out yeah it isn't finished yeah it's my food in there. Melissa, Melissa made the same shit, but you had oatmeal and cinnamon, right? Oatmeal and cinnamon and berries and, and bananas and, and egg whites. So yeah. Now, today we're just trying to relax, recover, um, not to stress the body, lay down and fill up and enjoy because the work is done now there's nothing much else I can do other than just relax eat and stick on the plan and keep the mind happy because your body always follows your mind so keep smiling eating and just enjoy the process and between every meal I kind of try to look a little bit from the mirror and see how my body changes and if I feel like that I start to gain a lot of water outside of the muscle and I start to look watery then I have to do some changes to the meals but I, I don't see that's even possibility right now my my muscles just wants to suck all those carbs inside them so yeah here we go I've been filling up with potassium as well and uh, obviously that helps the water to move inside the muscle cell, so... Oh yeah! Carbs, baby, carbs. Alright, so it's meal number three. So I ate this exact same meal earlier today. Uh, this has 200 grams of tilapia and 150 grams of white rice and I'm gonna pour half a bottle of ketchup on top of it. <laughs> There's no sodium except the one that comes from ketchup, so that's pretty much the sodium that I get to eat today. You wanna say hi? You wanna say hi? No, he, he's, he's shy. Camera. Yeah, camera shy. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't wanna be a superstar today. But yeah, I'm gonna eat this one, and then I think Mateus is coming here, yeah? What's the time? It's four o'clock, so yeah, I think Pretty so. Pretty soon in one, two so hours. What we've been doing now, we have been just packing. Don't eat the telephone, dude. We'll be just packing for the for the road trip. Uh, a lot of packing, you gotta take your own bed sheets because the color will ruin the bed sheets. So if you're staying in a hotel, for example, they will send you a bill afterwards. Um, we gotta preparate all the meals um clothes posing oils you name it there's a lot of stuff drugs that we have to pack on so yeah a lot of packing getting ready because i don't want to be stressed tomorrow because tomorrow we're gonna leave at around two three o'clock we don't have to do anything else tomorrow except have the pump workout and get to bonner Gambrius. so and then we gotta practice some posing and finalize my posing routine <laughs> So Uli is yelling now because she's alone in this room. <laughs> she's a little bit retarded. But yeah, yeah, we have a bird with autism. But anyways, yeah, feeling great, smiling, having a lot of more energy now, as you can might see. Um, carbohydrates are amazing, guys. <laughs> feeling great. Um, maybe I start to fill up a little bit, but otherwise I don't feel any any difference in my physique just I have a high energy level right now I'm feeling happy and just getting ready for the day guys so yeah oh and I think for the last meal of today I would love Melissa if you would make those 
sweet potato french fries on the air fryer because I get the shit ton of those today as well. I can't eat them tomorrow, so we're gonna eat them today. So that's, yeah. that's my one wish for tonight. Okay. All right. So we're gonna hit this meal and then we're gonna have a massage session. Patron. All right, so it's uh, time for massage. Uh, Mateus is gonna help a little bit to open up my fascia tissue and let the <clears throat> water flow move through my body and so something very light uh, helping me with mobility a little bit so I can pose better and stuff like that and just to try to relax my body right now so if you are in Florinopolis area be sure to check this guy out he's been helping me with recovery for a year now so this guy is a fucking wizard so if you happen to be here uh, check this guy out he's gonna help you out um Boa. yeah no entendi nada mas <laughs> se precisarem só me chamar for an office hey guys amor pega pra mim água Prontinho, quase. Boa, ficou muito cheio, ah. né? Acho que quatro sete de pé, mas é bom. Físico tá bom, hein? Peitoral muito grande também. E tá sentindo alguma parte do, doendo? Um, não, mas acho que eu preciso um pouco mais ver como é o latíssimo. Uhum, para pra abrir ela, um pouco mais. mais. Sim. Tá. Um, não tem nada de dor, não. Como hoje a gente não vai poder fazer uma liberação muito profunda, eu vou fazer mais por pontos de pressão, tá? Tá. Pra não gerar muita inflamação. Tá. Pra não reter. É, lombar também. Lombar. Aberto abdominais, porque eu treino muitas abdominais uhum. para essa preparação. Fechou. Vamos tirar muita água. Tá, não, Vamos não. fazer uma liberação Sim. junto com uma drenagem para tirar a água e expulsar a água também. Tá. Tá? Pois é. Vamos começar de barriga para cima. Tá. Tá? Outras preparação eu tenho problemas com dormir. Uhum. Lombar. Contratura no lombar. Tensão. Overall, my body is pretty good, actually. There's only a couple spots that are kind of like inflamed from all the training. So. Thinking about overall this preparation that lasted only five weeks, my body's feeling pretty, pretty good, right? I mean, like I sleep at least 10 hours a night, sometimes 12. And right now my, pretty much all my muscles are recovered in a way that I don't have like inflammation. Only couple spots, there's like TFL and lumbar was a little bit, um, inflamed but other than that like the whole body is feeling pretty good my mental state is pretty good i'm not suffering from huge hunger problems so i would like to use the word easy but this has been easiest prep i've done um and by far the fastest you know like usually people prepare for bodybuilding show for five months i only did five weeks but 
you know, I'm not completely shredded for the first show, but once if I keep competing every two weeks, it's gonna get better by every competition, or at least I hope so. Campeão. Olha que eu vou guardar. Tô bem, mano. Obrigado. É teu, viu? Pra ganhar. Era tudo certo. Muito bom. Boa. Nossa, o bicho tá muito bem. Sim, tá muito seco. Ah. small piece of salmon so this is the last meal um, I'm gonna fill that tray with ketchup and we're gonna watch Netflix and go to bed and tomorrow we keep up car bopping so um, I posed a little bit in the gym and I wasn't full at all I feel that my muscles can still take so much more glycogen in them so we keep eating we keep growing let's get big that's the plan so oh look at that nice all right let's wrap up this day i'll see you guys tomorrow